now we will be looking into the last program in the tcp stack that is a file transfer using a tcp socket right so what we have to do is we have to transfer a file from one end to another from the server to client or the client to server so let's look at the code again it's again going to be the same code right so what we have to do so this particular code is in a java okay this file transfer we have done in a java so i hope you remember the java socket programming do you remember the java socket programming what i told you told you in the java socket programming is at a server end we need to create called api that is a server socket with a port number now this particular api the server socket api is going to do all the task of uh, all the task of uh, creation of a socket binding it to the address space and then doing a listen fine so this server socket is going to serve for everything and then we are just stuck at a accept so accept is going to accept a request from the client similarly at a client edge we are creating a socket by getting a name so i net address dot get name so local host say address milta hai hume and with that address and the port we are creating a socket right and then what we are doing with the same socket this socket is going to do a functionality of connect also so whenever i create a socket in a java it it sends the connect internally so which is getting accepted at a server in by doing a accept fine so this is my uh, connect uh, this socket is in internally having the connect and it is getting accepted at a server fine so uh, the next task is what i have to do i have to create a file correct so now look at the file which which is to be created so i can create a file as temp.txt at desktop correct so you go to the desktop okay and what i require uh, is to empty document temp.txt and then i will be writing hello world fine so i have created this temp.txt and i have returned the hello world tab fine so uh, this particular file is read with the file function right and i got a file descriptor then then what i required is i required a file input stream and buffer input stream for reading the file correct and in similar manner to get a output to a socket or a stream i required a get output stream as well correct now what i will do i will be reading the file contents in the contents array right so i will start reading the file uh file contents and then writing it on the socket correct so here i am doing the read and then write so i am doing this bis read so what is this bis buffered input stream so buffered input stream is connected with a given file fine buffered input stream is connected with a given file and then where am i writing i am writing it i am writing it with the os so what is this os os is a output stream output stream of a socket so i am writing the content of a file using a file of input stream and buffered input stream to the output stream of a socket to the output stream of a socket Correct. So I have sent the file to the client. Now what will happen at the client end? The client end is going to read the content of the uh, socket, right? Whatever content I have received at a, uh, whatever content I have received, I will be reading that content. Correct. So I have read it and then re return back to the. i have returned back to the buffered output stream right so that file saved successfully now we will be executing this code fine so ls cd
if your base tag is one and we call your sales for the register and we take things are there in the machine. So we'll do uh, the uh, compilation. So Java C, Java C. What is this? TCP F Server dot Java. Correct. So it has created ls minus l. So it has created output file as TCP Server dot class. Again here this Java C TCP. So I will be having the output file as as a tcp app server dot class correct so first what i have to do i have to execute a, a, a server so i will do java tcp app server right so server is executed and then uh, it, uh, at this end i will do java tcp right client so file is successfully file sent successfully so you can see here at desktop see now you have received a empty file right so it means that we have created a file successfully and which is transmitted from client to server end so this was all about my uh, TCP uh, TCP file transfer in